Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and this is part two of a video about um, creating particle effects using JavaScript. This is, again, I repeat, um, an advanced level tutorial. If you're a newbie, you, you might get some of this, you might get it all, you might got, get none of it. Anyway, I'm going to start the timer here again. <coughs> and this is just a little app thing. <coughs> that I created for a uh, game or whatever. Right, so 15 minutes. Ready. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to the particles here. Uh, uh, at the end of the video, I had some syntax error errors, some just uh, minor, um, you know, um, human mistakes, right? So basically what I was missing was an equal sign for some odd reason, because I guess I was just thinking in uh, CSS, uh, I put um, a colon instead of an equal sign. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it, and um, I also for, uh, have the wrong name for the particle. So you refresh the page, yaddy yaddy. So far, nothing shows up. Reason for that is because the size is um, we haven't defined the size for it. So I'm just going to go back here, this dot particle style dot um, height, let's say, equal to um, this dot size plus px, right, and then this dot particle style dot with, and I'm probably going to remove this one later on, but this is just for testing purposes, right, and let's say the size is 30. Okay, so there you can see some uh, particles here are showing up. Um, I'm just going to check the image size here. So I used, um, actually I used the size of 100 for the particles. Let's just see how that looks. It's a bit big. I'm, I'm thinking I might want to, you know, change it a bit. But whatever, right? This is just to show you the basics doesn't really matter if it looks good right now you can always swap out the images at your will or whatever so I'm just gonna get rid of this here right right I'm actually gonna put that in a different function I'm gonna call this um, function um, uh, update particle values or just update particle right and then we'll just say object or we'll just call this particle to make it easier for you guys. So, <coughs> just going to say that uh, I'm just going to do like particle dot. Actually, I'm just going to paste the stuff that I wrote here. Right, replace this with particle. So this um, particle dot particle right style, and then um, particle dot um, left or style dot left actually I'm just gonna put this in a variable to make it easier so um, var particle just call it style to make it even easier there so style dot height right um, so anyway the basics here are uh, when you're doing this it's just make I'm just making a reference here so I'm putting a reference to um, the, uh, the style um, object or whatever within into the style whatever anyway so left equals um, particle dot um, x plus px and you have to put the px and I know it's really um, stupid but you know that's just how browsers r um, work so um, anyway style dot top equals particle dot y plus px right So uh, next part thing, um, I'm going to start by uh, using the, these two variables here that I defined at the start. Um, let's say update every 100 milliseconds. It's going to be jumpy, that's um, 1 frame per, uh, sorry, 10 frames per second. All right, uh, we can double it, make it 20. <coughs> and uh, now we need to create a function to initiate everything. So function initialize right so we're gonna say update interval equals um, 
I don't know, window dot, uh, sorry, set interval. And then we had uh, update delay as a variable. And that was our time. And we need to make another function here and call it update. So this will be like your main interval. Um, if you guys have, guys have done like uh, programming with DirectX or anything really, um, you'll understand this better. <coughs> so we just uh, put in the update. So pretty much every um, 50 milliseconds this update function is called. And in this update function we're just going to be updating the particles. So we're just going to say for variable i equals 0, well i is less than max particles, i plus plus, right? It's going to loop through every 50 milliseconds, it's going to loop through all 50 of those, of those objects. In C++, you could loop through like 10,000 objects with like every, I don't know, 40, 30 milliseconds, and it really wouldn't affect your CPU usage that much. So that, that's um, one of the downsides of using JavaScript to do this and whatever, right? So anyway, um, for each one of them, we're going to put our formulas here. So uh, updates, formulas, and then um, I'm just going to put this update particle thing here. After we put it through the uh, formulas to make them move, whatever, I'm just going to do update particle, right? Fresh. And we have an error somewhere. Let's see where it is. You know what? I know what it is. I'm not calling the damn uh, function to up to um, initialize it all. Right. It's one of the problems with uh, programming or whatever you can call it. Um, there's a lot of uh, multitasking in it, right? So yeah, can't read this style, it's undefined. I'm just going to quickly pause this while I quickly go through some things to check for some errors. Whoops, I totally wasn't thinking. Um, put this in particles array. Totally, totally not thinking there. There we go, now it updates, right, and you get your whole thing here. Um, the next thing I need to put on here is um, the absolute value. So this dot particle pull dot style dot um, position. I hope that I spelled that right. I know uh, in the previous video I did, uh, I spelled position wrong and it totally screwed everything up. Um, <coughs> I want to set this to absolute. Right? fresh and there you go now it's all stacked up there in one spot now uh, we don't really want that right now so um, I'm just gonna ch set the opacity to zero right um, Now, in uh, the previous, uh, in my previous one that I did with particle effects, um, oh, sorry about that. <sighs> Brain block. Anyway, uh, in the previous one that I did, I used it to follow the mouse. In this version, I want to do it so um, I'm going to make it so that when you click, it's going to make an explosion of particles around from the mouse and you know whatever so uh, <coughs> I'm going to need to create a function to initiate them right and I the reason for all these functions is to keep organized so call it um, add new particle or whatever I'm just going to pause it okay so I'm just going to define a particle call it um, add particle or whatever so um, function add particle right and then uh, we want to put a particle in here because uh, we're not recreating these objects in any way we're just um, showing them hiding them 
um, in DirectX or whatever, whatever your language, you're probably going to be using the same variables to store all of your particles and you're just going to be um, showing them and hiding them. You're not going to be deleting them and recreating them because that's extremely inefficient. So anyway, uh, we want to be able to track the mouse. Right, I just copied this uh, function here from my um, uh, brain block from my other uh, particle effects thing. So I'm just going to paste this here. All this does is um, like move mouse and because of browser compatibility we have to put this um, pretty much if, st <coughs> if statement. This is just a shortcut format for if statements and it's um, slightly more efficient. So we're just going to say um, mouse click or even mouse move. It depends on what you want to do. So we um, just going to put it at the bottom here because we don't want this um, issue like um, running or whatever while the page is still loading, while the particles are still being created or something like that because it could cause some unexpected er errors. So we go documents dot, um, I don't know, let's look here, click or mouse click, on click, there we go, on click um, equals mouse click. Right, um, Uh, I gotta take a breather here. So anyway, I'm just gonna end this a bit short before the next part. Um, just a quick overview of what we've got. Uh, we've got some basic variables here: a, a, func a particle object class, function to create the particles, to assign them all, to um, a function to update the particle information based on values. We're gonna be um, creating a function on the next video for the formulas to adjust the particles and then uh, we're going to have an add particle here right so pretty much what happens when you load the page gets the workspace object creates the particles initializes them and then assigns the events in the next video I'll continue this and like I said uh, this will take quite some time to make anyway uh, come check out my blog and if you have any questions or comments please post them up right don't you want I don't want you guys to uh, you know spend like an hour or so trying to create this and then just end up failing because I didn't explain something properly or you know you couldn't you uh, misunderstood something or whatever right anyway uh, I'll see you guys later um, continue this vid in a couple minutes um, hope you guys see the next part.